Nnamdi the Kano Sparks accused European Union for keeping silence over killings of Biafrans in Aquaibom, demands an immediate intervention. Nnamdi the Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP group, have taken to social media today to send a very strong message to the United States, United Kingdom, and the European Union. In a post he made on Twitter, Namde Kanu said that he hopes that the United States, United Kingdom and the European Union are aware of the genocidal bombings he claims is currently happening in where Biafrans live in Aquaibom and Benue State respectively. Namde Kanu also claimed that no Fulani Mieti Anla settlements have been destroyed. Nnamdi Kano's post sparked up several reactions. A Twitter user reacted to the post, said that there is no such thing as Biafran village in Aquaibom that is being bombarded. According to the Twitter user, he has not seen a military aircraft in flying in Aquaibom for two years now. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, that person that is saying this now, I tell you and I bet you, this person is not in this country. It's something that is happening of, of, as we speak, whereby people have lost their lives. A lot of people have died. A lot of people have dropped dead. You are saying that they are lying that there is nothing of such look at who is deceiving who who is lying to who and why are we say, saying that we are lying my dear viewers these are the things that that these are these, these are the problems we are having in our country is this the problem we are having in nigeria refusing to to tell the truth even as we speak now, Aquaibon is very hot. So you looked at the person of Namde Kano and you think that Namde Kano will always tell you a lie. Huh? He will, he will video it and will show it to you to see clearly. Or you that is saying this, do you think that the people you are, you are telling, the European Union or United States or United Kingdom, don't know that such thing is happening? You don't even need to tell them because they have their video camera to view everything to the finish. They will be where they are. They will be seeing what is happening even in your bedroom. So why 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 they complain? Why they trying to defend to defend uh, uh, the president? That's what this place is, this place is trying to do. So. With, with what Namdi Kanu is saying, I think there is a very, very, very big uh, uh, point. There is a very big point and reasonable point in what Namdi Kanu is saying. The European Union, the United Kingdom, and the, the United States ought not to keep quiet. Because it's because they kept quiet. That is why these criminal headsmen are still attacking the people, are still killing the people in numbers. It is because they kept quiet. It is because they kept quiet. But if they have risen up, if they have to their feet and take a move, this wouldn't have been happening. It wouldn't have been happening. But look at, look at, see what is happening. So my viewers, Nnam the Kano is intact. Sometimes when Nnam the Kano is lamenting, some person will be saying this guy is too aggressive. No, he is not. He is not and he will never be. What Nnam the Kano is telling you is just the humble truth. He's just the humble truth. He's just wanting you to see reason in what he's saying. He wants you to, to view the fact, to see the fact. You just want you to know that, yes, this is happening. That's what you want you to do. 
So what's the problem? Hmm? What's the lamentation for? What's the need? What's the need for that? So, my beloved viewers, I want to tell you that what is happening in our dear country needs foreign intervention. Needs foreign intervention. We no longer need to, um, to tell ourselves stories. Because to me, what the people are saying and the excuse the people are given concerning what is happening, they are jargons. They are true jargons and cannot be taken anymore. Cannot be taken. If truly, if truly everybody wants what is happening to be solved, then they will not even, uh, they, they would have been taking moves the way now the country is taking moves. You understand? Look at the Southeast right now. See how hot the Southeast is. See the number of people that are still dying in numbers in the Southeast. That's to speak. Look at the number of people that are still dying. And when Namdekano speaks, they say Namdekano has come again. Namdekano is aggressive because he can no longer bear it. He released the Eastern Security Network. The, 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 the Southeast governors rejected it. He released them for security purposes and not to go after the innocent. And since these guys were inaugurated, they have been going after those criminals. They have relocated to the forest. They have never gone after the, 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 the innocent people. They have never killed anybody even while having AK-47. They have not done anything. Instead of the Nigerian army to, to join them, support them, they start going after them. It's crazy. It's crazy. You understand what I'm saying? It's crazy. So, I tell you this, my dear viewers. We have to stand up and speak up. Speak up. Speak up. Stand for your rights. Stand for your rights. None of the have given you the step. Make steps as well. Make a move too. Do you understand? So that is that, my viewers. So let me hear from you and know what you equally have to say concerning all this. Please, what do you have to say? Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.